Hey y'all, I'm Sarah Preece. My wellness company is called Great Days by Sarah. And today I have for us a total core and a little bit more workout. Let's get warmed up. Stand up in your space. I'm gonna try to be in camera here. And let's just march it out. So when we talk about core today, your core wraps around your entire body. So it's not just thinking like those six pack muscles. Let's add the twist. Knee towards your elbow, but doesn't need to touch. You want a little bit more, reach your arms way up in between. You'll hear me say a lot, pull your belly button towards your spine. It causes your tailbone to tuck under a little bit. And that's the position we want to go to in most of our moves today. Let's swing it out, turning that back foot. If you're someone who deals with that um, abdominal separation due to childbirth and labor and all of the lovely things that our mom's bodies go through, this is probably not the workout for you, but I do have a workout series, start and star, that does address that abdominal separation with some real safe exercises. Some of this stuff will be appropriate, but definitely not the workout you wanna do if you're looking to pull that space back together. And it's so important that you put it back together before you strengthen it, because if you don't, then you end up with like that permanent kind of pooch out in your abs. Last one here, and send it side to side. So everything will be for time today, between 30 and 45 seconds, depending on the move. I'll encourage you to just keep moving, but of course, honor how your body feels today and do what feels right for you. All right, let's start. We're gonna start in a downward facing dog today. So pitch your upside down letter V with your body. Remember the timer is that? And we'll start in this upside down letter V and then we'll move it out to a plank. So this will be our first move. If full plank is not in it for you today, drop your knees and think straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Send it back and forward. So just starting this engagement, Breathing and squeezing, sending it back and forth. And then in our next time out, we'll do one more down dog. And then our next time out, we'll hold in this plank. So either full plank or modified and take your left hand, bring it to your right shoulder. So trying to limit the wiggle in between. Squeezing those hips forward, especially if you're in the modification. If you're in the full one, widen your feet stance here. You can bring it over now. I'm going to put it right in front of me. Thanks, so. love. Three, two, and one. Flip it on over. We're going to go into a bridge. So heels close enough to your glutes that you can kind of graze them with your fingertips or come close. And we're gonna lift, tuck and squeeze, and lower. So it's a lift, tuck and squeeze, and lower. So slow and intentional for this one. And then we're gonna add on. In five seconds, we're gonna lift one leg. So move your left leg to the middle, right leg goes up and lift it for a single leg. And then that right leg is gonna drop. Now it can be straight, it can be bent, and it can be a big range of motion through that hip or it can be tiny. So where you're engaging, you're stabilizing through the left, you're moving through the right. Those obliques are amazing muscles on the side of our body are working. And your back kicks in too, without really thinking about it. Lift those hips up a little higher for three, two, and switch it over. Right one plants in the middle, left one goes high. Try not to drop your hips. And then left leg lowers and lifts. I'm just gonna kick my palm tree a couple hundred times over here today. So you can bend it if you need a little less but keep those hips lifted for three, 
for two and one, set it down, hug those knees in just for a moment, maybe a little rock side to side, give a little love to your lower back, and then we're gonna flip it over onto our bellies. If on your stomach is not an option for you today, let me show you the modification. We're gonna be from your knees, lifting up, and then pulling back, leaning back. So pulling in this position. We're gonna work the back half of our core. If you are coming down on your bellies today, glue your toes together, reach your arms out as close as you can to your ears. If they need to be a little wider, that's okay. And then we're just gonna lift and pull and reach and pull. So legs stay lifted the whole time. Inhale forward, exhale pull. If you're on your knees, same thing. Inhale up, reach high, exhale, pull the elbows down. Squeeze your legs together. Mine were starting to sneak apart. You've got three, two, and one, press it up, all fours, hands and knees, bird dog, right hand comes forward, left hand comes back, leave them on the ground to start, square your shoulders, square your hips towards the mat, first part of this one, lift and lower, so teeny tiny tap, and then lift up just to shoulder height and to hip height. We change in three, two, and one. We lift, bring it out to the side. So leg comes at a diagonal, hand comes at a diagonal, and then back center. We reach and center, stabilizing the rest of your body. Strong flex through your back foot. So that back leg is active, that arm is straight. Last one to the side and keep it lifted. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, tuck. Maybe your knee can touch your elbow. You're driving it towards each other. Your back is rounding. Last one for the series, so stick with it. Exhale as you squeeze together. Inhale for length, for three, two, and one, switch it over. Left hand out, right foot back, ground first. So square those hips first, square your shoulders first, then we lift. I'm gonna move forward a little bit. <laughs> so we lift and lower. Reach, and lower with control. Don't let gravity do the work, fight it. For three, two, last one up, hold it up. Now we're going at an angle. Reach it out to the side. Make it a long diagonal line and then peeling it back to the center. For three, Two, hold it center. Next time you get there, we inhale length, exhale squeeze. Big inhale, strong exhale, squeeze it all together. If you're feeling it in your base arm, which is your right arm with this one, totally normal. Everything is used to stabilize in these positions. Up on our feet in three, two, and one. Stand it up, roll those shoulders back and down, and then place your hands ever so gently behind your ears. Give yourself a wider base, so think hip distance. Then we're going into a good morning. Your back stays flat, your elbows stay high, and then you stand it right back up. So it's not about how low you go, it's how slow you go and how straight that spine is. Kind of a little knee bend. We're squeezing our shoulder blades as we peer over this ledge.
Inhale, lowers us. Exhale, up and tuck the tail under. Last two. And one, stand it up tall. We're gonna move into a sumo squat or a goddess squat in yoga. So our feet are gonna turn out. Our knees are gonna track over our ankles. And the first part is just a pulse, just to get ourselves into it. It's lower. So we're here for a short amount of time, making sure our knees are pointing out to the side. If they're, if they're falling in, open up, even if that means you have to come up a little higher. Find the pulse and then hands in that same position, light behind your ears, find stillness and tip. Center and tilt. So going back and forth, sinking as low as you can through your legs. This is where the and more comes in in this workout. So we have our core, we're working our obliques and more. We have our inner and outer thighs. We have our shoulders having to hold our hands up. Now see if you can get a little closer to your leg. Maybe your elbow even taps while keeping your chest open. Last one each side. We'll give those legs a break. Stay in it if you want more of a challenge. If not, give those legs a break. We're gonna add the twist. So the upper body will stay the same, lower body stays the same, and it's a twist. Center, exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Twist it out. Sink lower in your legs. I can feel mine sneaking up because I'm starting to feel the burn. Last one each way. Excellent. Come on down onto your mat. This is where we end. Two exercises left. I'm doing that. Tip, tilt back, hold the ball in your hand, move it one side and then the other. So we just worked our obliques with our tip and tilt. This also works that same muscle group, but it takes it lower. Exhale as we twist. Inhale, center each time. You got this, it's three, it's two, it's one, flip it over, we end in a plank. Strongest plank of the day. If you can be on your feet, be on your feet, even if that means your feet are a little bit wider. You want your hips up, tuck your tail under. So we're not here. And we're not here, that's pretty exaggerated, but we're here. <laughs> you wanna be able to feel this through your lower abdominals. If you're in the modification, upper body, mid body stays the same, you're just from your knees. Still tucking that tail under. You got 10 seconds and then that's a 45 second plank. Here comes five, four, three, two, one, slowly lower down all the way, and then we'll find space. Pump those toes, let them, let them splay out. Find weight on your forearms, pressing your hands into the mat. If you need a little bit more, you can always press it to an upward facing dog. But after abs, I think Sphinx does the trick. and then send it back and find a child's pose. Knees can be wide or together, big toes touch, reach it forward, rest your head on something, whether that's a mat, your floor, or stack your hands to bring the floor to you. We'll inhale through our nose, exhale out the mouth. Two more like that, inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Sink into your space one last time. Inhale, exhale. Walk your hands up, all fours. Find a comfortable seat, whatever that means for you this morning. We'll do one last inhale together. Arms come down, around, 
up and over, hands come to heart center. And you know I love to thank myself for showing up because it's not easy. My kids are home today. They got some patience in there too. This is a great workout to sneak in at the end of a workout or if you just have 10 or 15 minutes and you want some strengthening through your core area and then a little bit more. Hope you like that one. Let me know what you think. Go have a great day. Mm-hmm.